How to get to the future? I think it is the most important question of our lifetime, because we intend to live the rest of our lives in the future. In order to answer this question, we have to understand what the future world will be like. In our minds, the world is a happy place. We always think that the world of the future will be a better place than the one we are living in now, but I'm not so sure about it. What if the future has an apocalypse in store for us? Generally, when we think of an apocalypse, we imagine a catastrophe. But in ancient Greek, apocalypse actually means new knowledge. So, how do I see the future? Today, we had a poll on when electric cars will replace conventional vehicles. I think it will happen in the early 2030s. What is more important, today, over 80 million vehicles are produced every year. The overall production of cars will decrease by half. Why is it possible and why will it happen? Because the future will be the world of cities, not countries. Today, three out of the seven billion people live in major cities. In the future, it will be seven out of nine. Just think about it. Today, every third citizen of Japan lives in Tokyo, every fourth resident of Russia lives in Moscow and the Moscow metropolitan area. In the future, 75% of the Japanese population will live in two or three cities. Because of this, we will have to completely change our transportation. We will have to share our vehicles. Uber-like solutions will get more popular. The share of public transport passengers will grow. Smaller two- and three-wheel vehicles will become more prominent. As a result, this sector of industry will shrink in half. How will that happen and what will that lead to? Over the last 20 years, scientists have been conducting surveys on the biggest technological shifts. During our lifetime, we saw the rise and fall of cell phones and the companies that produced them. They were replaced by smartphones. All the surveys showed the same pattern. People tend to significantly overestimate what will happen in the next three years and majorly underestimate what will happen in ten years. So, what is the automotive industry today? Out of the ten largest global companies in terms of sales, Seven make cars. Apart from car manufacturing, a number of other large industries are involved in this. These are oil for cars, metals, polymers, logistics, finance, insurance. If we put all of them together, we will get more than 15 trillion dollars in sales, 46.5 million employees and approximately 12.5 trillion dollars in market capitalization of these companies. What share does it account for? That's 18% of the global GDP and 18% of the global share market cap. It is the largest industry in the world and the 46.5 million people it employs, together with their household members, amount to 200 million people. These 200 million people live in developed countries. A lot of them live in Japan, Germany and France. Once upon a time in the world history, the GDP dropped by 15%. It only happened once. That was the Great Depression of 1929. Over the last 25 years, one time the GDP fell by 4% during the recession of 2008. It is clear that if the GDP drops by 18%, it will be an economic and social catastrophe like nothing we have experienced in the history of the humankind. Of course, we hope that will never happen, as we hope that new companies with new products will take their place. Right now, approximately 50 automotive companies make 98% of all cars, but in the future, there will not be 50, there will be a thousand. This is where the largest car manufacturers are located today. And this is them on a map in a not too distant future. They will be mini factories in the thousand biggest cities in the world. Even if the overall production output increases, along with the GDP, these will be other new companies. They will create new jobs in other locations. When will this happen? As I've already mentioned, we are inclined to underestimate the change that will occur in 10 years. So, this will happen in 2026.
We are less than seven years away. There is still quite enough time to do something, but there is no time for waiting. Which companies will survive? The companies that will allow future cars to become cheaper. That includes the entire life cycle of a car, its manufacturing, use and utilization. Initially, cars will be 30% cheaper, then 50% cheaper in 10 years. It is due to the fact that new markets emerge where population grows. These are countries with lower incomes. There are many reasons and ways to alter technologies and make something cheaper. But if you look at the underlying cause of change, when we talk about transport, it all comes down to energy efficiency. Energy efficiency has two sides to it, materials and energy. In the end, it is energy efficiency that determines the cost of manufacturing and the operating cost. So, at the end of the day, whenever we are talking about polymers, batteries and manufacturing technologies, we are talking about energy efficiency. We know that once upon a time, the Earth was inhabited by these creatures. Why did they disappear? They weren't energy efficient. This is what history is teaching us. Those who manage to adapt will survive. Whatever it is your company does, whatever product you make, you need to change in order to get to the future. This character might be unfamiliar to non-Japanese members of the audience. His name is Saitama. I chose him not because he's bold like me. I chose him because he is also known as One Punch Man. This person wins all fights with just one punch. We have a similar hero. It's Tubal. One additive for thousands of materials, one and only in the world. So, our mission is to change all the materials, making the world better. I hope that we will get to the future together. Thank you.